Hey y'all, this is Shaq and I am back with another YouTube video and today I am here to show y'all how I achieved this natural affordable makeup look. Um, It took me maybe about 30 to 45 minutes only because I recorded this whole thing but usually it takes me maybe about 15-25 minutes. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And if y'all see anything y'all would have done differently, let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, y'all, so let's get started. So the first thing I always like to do when I do my makeup is my brows first. I don't know why, it just feels right. So here you just see me starting from the bottom of my brow, and then I'm going to work my way up to the top. And when you're doing your brows, you just want to really highlight what you already have. Don't do the most. You can, but I won't guarantee that it'll look right because I don't do that. I just outline what I have. And I know the front of my brow kind of looks a little shaky, but y'all just trust the process, trust the process. Y'all gonna see. So I'm just continuing to fill in what's already there. I know my brows are kind of thin, y'all, so don't, don't, not too much, not too much. So here I'm just taking the spoolie part of my eyebrow pencil and I'm just pretty much blending out everything, making everything look as natural as possible because that is the goal for this specific look and then i go in with my tart shape tape concealer i got it from alta it wasn't that expensive but i'm just starting from the bottom once again and i'm just cleaning up the bottom of my brows take your time when you're doing this because it is very 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 easy to mess up i actually messed up a tad bit in this video but i fixed it later on so it wasn't really noticeable and i recommend this concealer this is a really good concealer especially for beginners because it's not as harsh and it's it doesn't stick as easily as other professional concealers do so if you're a beginner i highly recommend this one go out and buy it you won't regret it I'm just blending that out and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. primer and I'm just going to rub that all over my face, not on my brows though of course, but this just gives me a nice finish at the end of my look. So I always go in with it. Now I'm blending out everything with my beauty blender, don't mind it, I know it's dirty but it's still got the job done, it's still got the job done, okay. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation, just putting a little bit on my hand. And I'm using that same concealer brush I used earlier to, yep, that's where I missed the back. <laughs> I'm using that same concealer brush from earlier to clean up the top now. And I'm just doing the same thing to the other side. Now I'm just blending in all that excess product, bringing it to the top of my forehead, not wasting any because I was going to have to end up putting foundation on my forehead anyways. And I'm going in with that same beauty blender and blending out the entire forehead. So then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once again, and I'm just getting those highlighted areas, which is my nose, chin, lip, and my under eye. And for those of you who might ask, no, I do not put foundation on my whole face anymore. I just feel like it's kind of a waste of product because I usually achieve the same look 
with just less product so it's a win-win situation less product less clogged pores and more money saved then i'm going back in with my beauty blender blending out every every everything to the best of my ability it's very, very, very important to make sure you blend, y'all. Blend, 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 blend until you can't blend anymore. Next, after I blend, I'm just going to use my foundation and put that on my lower, lower cheek area where there is no product just to kind of, you know, blend in everything, give it a natural look. And I'm going to use my Morphe brush and pretty much just blend out everything and make it look natural. Next, I'm going in with my black opal setting powder and I'm just going to set the places that I apply the concealer. Um, this is probably my favorite part of my makeup routine just because I know like yeah, girl, you only have like a few more steps left and I really just really start to see the look come together whenever I start baking my face. Going in with more black opal contour, of course, I'm just doing my cheeks, forehead and then jawbone. Is that a jawbone? Yeah, I think it's a jawbone. Y'all, everything that I used in this video either came from Walmart or Ulta. Like, it's really, really budget-friendly. I'm not even gonna lie. Except for the Fenty. But Fenty is always worth the purchase. And I am just blending out everything. And I apply my nose contour with that little small part of the brush. Just because it gives me a little bit more flexibility to define my nose and then once i do that i just blend out everything really really well again y'all makeup is really just all about blending if you can just blend until you can't blend anymore your makeup is gonna come out flawless each and every time and for the purpose of this video i just went ahead and put a little brown eyeshadow on nothing too crazy now i'm dusting off all of that setting powder just with a little amazon brush that i got so long ago i don't even remember how much it was but i know it was cheap so i got these lashes from amazon i'll link it in the description now I'm just going in with my eyeliner from NYX, making sure I take my time on that. Y'all take your time on your eyeliner. And as you can see, I'm outlining first and then I'm going back in and filling in. Now I'm plopping on those lashes. It was a little hard for me, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I just had to take the scissors to push it in. Do not do this, y'all. Do not use scissors to put your lashes on because you might poke it out. I don't want to be responsible. So don't try that at home. Use some tweezers instead. I was just being a little lazy. I ain't feel like going to get my tweezers. But we still got them on. We still got them on. We still got them on. So that's all that matters. But... For real, y'all, don't, don't do that. that. That's a safety hazard. Don't do that. 
Now I'm just going in with my mascara just to blend in my natural lashes with my fake lashes. And I love these lashes, y'all. Like, they really give extensions, at least to me. And, of course, I do my bottom lashes. Y'all, I don't do bottom liner. Like, I hardly ever do it. And I didn't do it for this video. I don't know. I just find it kind of unnecessary sometimes, especially for natural looks. But now I'm taking my brown eyeliner, not eyeliner, y'all, lip liner, outlining my lips. I'm going to take a clear gloss. You already know, hair, hair store down, lip gloss, okay. And I'm not going to put that much on, just a little bit, enough to kind of blend in that lip liner with something on my lips. Like so, and then I'm going in with my concealer. Once again, y'all, I love concealer. And I'm going to put some concealer on my lips, yeah. Nice little lip combo. Trust the process, trust the process. And I'm just going in with my crayon case matte book once again. And I am... Putting on my blush, then going in with my crayon case highlighter, just highlighting everything. Y'all, this look really came together. Like, I really did enjoy doing this video for y'all. And then last but not least, I am taking my e.l.f. setting spray and setting, setting, setting until I can't set anymore. So this is the finished product. I really, really like how I did my makeup this time because I'm usually really, really lazy with it. So I feel like I did pretty good, like better than I usually do. So if y'all like this video, make sure y'all let me know down in the comment section below. If y'all want to see more makeup tutorials, more detailed as far as eyebrows, how I put on my lashes or how I did my lips, just let me know. And I will see y'all in the next video.